Why did I say the Beyonce song? Um, you won't break my soul. You won't break my soul. Blah, 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 blah. That's a that's a, it's a black girl. It's a genocidal song. It's a genus song for genocide. What? Do y'all hear some of the blasphemy shit that's coming out of people's mouths? This shit I'm just pick up where it's left off yesterday with fire signs. This is a I don't even know. I wanna do a flurry reading. <laughs> I'm picking up. Want to do a reading on Mercury retrograde. Want to do a reading because Pluto and Uranus kept being on my radar through the dice, through the esoteric dice, and then I pop Scorpio that's ruled by Pluto and Mercury retrograde. So I'm going on with that shit. Sometimes I just muster up the energy to do one reading. Crazy, but it is what it is. Let's just make this a Scorpio reading, okay? <laughs> I'm on the new vibration, girl. Y'all may be um, being affected by Pluto or Uranus. And Pluto is in Capricorn. And Uranus is in Taurus retrograde. It is still being Taurus and Uranus, but it's going direct 127, 2024. Pluto is currently in Capricorn, but it enters into Aquarius January 20th, 2024. So y'all may want to put in y'all phone something gonna happen whether it's a shift or whether it's something that actually manifests in the 3D between January 20th 2024 and January 27th 2024 pertaining to what I don't know maybe it'll pop up in your reading thank you to all of my new subscribers and thank you to all of the people that unsubscribe but still watch You won't break my soul. I lost my mind. That's why I can't sleep at night. I'm trying, I was listening to the song trying to figure out where the genocide fit in at. You telling people to quit their job. You telling people to get free today. Yeah, be yourself. Do the work. And for my adversaries, you're not going to break me. Where the fuck does genocide fit in this? Thing? And her had her her tag on um threads had Oshun in it. Oh boy. Here we go. Here's the beautiful thing about working off inspiration. Anytime you work off inspiration, inspired thought, which to me is really the the divine God thought. Anybody that comes against you is, is in a negative light or a negative way. They already count themselves out. They lost before they even started. They wasted energy. Just when you move off of not off of it's time. I feel like I need to put some new out there. You know, I ain't talking brain muscle, brain power. I ain't even talking brainstorming. I ain't talking linear. I'm talking about divine spark creative spark, divine inspiration. How most people come up with songs that they write. Some people can't even do shit until they come up with an inspired thought to write something. They're just not about to be sitting there writing. Some people can just write like that. However, when it's inspired, however you work, however your brain works, and whatever you do, when you work off an inspired thought, a creative spark, it is untouchable. So people that talk shit against it, I mean, they, they fucked up. They just fucked up. Okay. Put them in a lost and found box. They mama my come. Let's see what's up.
You can't see it. You can't be it. That we all know. Y'all at the house chilling. Protect your assets. Which is yourself. Polymess. Free from frauds. Queen of Swords. It's all off the bottom. Hallelujah, praise God. You're free from this shit. The third party situations. You got free today. And it feels good. Yeah. It feels good. Y'all waiting for what y'all know y'all deserve. <laughs> I ain't tripping on you, you know? For real. Seeing the truth in shit. Seeing the truth in yourself for real. You know? Seeing your worth. Your value. It's not so much about you looking for somebody with some money or, you know, wealth or generational wealth. Or, no. The Ten of Pentacles in this situation is you understanding your true value. And getting free from some crazy third party situation. Mr. Miyagi wax it all off. Five of Wands. Oof. Y'all enemies is now y'all footstool. Y'all may have up to five. It's this freedom feeling of being single and free from some shit. Now it's time for y'all to work y'all magic. Y'all starting from that one. Y'all took a risk. And just a fool leaping off of that cliff, you know what I'm saying? Just taking that leap. Okay. Getting away from the bullshit. Because you see, you ain't getting nowhere. Some of y'all allowing stuff to come to y'all. Instead of moving so much, you know, being so action oriented, just allowing life to blossom. Notice however it's going to do. Understand that you ain't got control over every fucking thing. And y'all don't want it. Y'all coming to that realization too. Answer me, y'all coming to the realization that y'all need a partner to help you do it. Answer me, y'all are appalled that you let people touch you, certain people. You're just like, where the fuck did I sleep with them? Lonely teardrops. My pillow never dries. Lonely teardrops. Y'all singing that at some point. Feeling real bad, okay? Self loathing. I'm here. <laughs> Y'all got it together now. Y'all rather. Y'all rather than feeling sick. I'm feeling sick afterwards dealing with some people. But real energy, a motherfucker, and it's transferable. Just like a disease, honey. Cold and flu, bitch. Anyone? Cold and flu, anyone? Seven of Swords. People were just in it for money. Love ain't got nothing to do with it. They involved in all kind of triads and triangles and pentagons and shit. Octagons, some of these motherfuckers. Witches come along with that, which is a woman. Whether they work to spell, whether they're a witch in their gene pool, whatever the case may be. A lot of witches. I remember asking my spiritual mother what was going on with my um, person at the time. She just kept saying witches. I didn't get it. Virgo, dingy. You know, everything has a solution. Okay, and, and? Clearly, it was too many for her to give a fuck, and she didn't want me to either. Move on was the point. So some of y'all done that. <laughs> I'm telling you, look at her eye up out of that. Like a bat, bat girl. Ooh, whole bunch of them. They, the person was not even, well, it wasn't even all like that. It wasn't even all like that. Like some of them like happy. They, they like they won him. But it's a whole ass tower. That fuck, you know, that losing before you even start. It don't even matter when you realize you lost. 
it's gonna come out if you're doing anything um, you know unrealistic come on the fool mm-hmm <laughs> y'all see y'all falling backwards in that shit leaping in that shit next we're gonna be diving anything not to have to deal with the tennis swords y'all must have been getting y'all the fucking they was attacking the fuck out of y'all it's about magic not working y'all did some honey the spin move honey to get up out of this shit making my eyes hurt for real Raise your vibes. Mm-hmm. Y'all was traumatized. Y'all must have got traumatized. I'm like, what the fuck is this? It don't necessarily have to be pertaining to a divine masculine. People just attacking y'all and y'all breaking free from fraudulent motherfuckers that y'all thought was cool, but they was not cool. People falling off left and right. And you really having to ground your energy. I'm telling you, these self-realizations. They hurt because they can't hurt you. What kind of shit? You know, and some of y'all are hurt by whoever this is. It could be. A sibling, I'm picking up a feminine energy. Could be a sister, could be an aunt, could be a cousin, could be a friend, a bestie, god sister, something like that. I mean, it hurt too just as much as it's, you know. But they was like this, but for nothing. Made you their enemy kind of situation. Now it hurts them that they can't hurt you anymore, but I mean, damn, bitch. I'm not a dark boy. That they shut out of the Ten of Cups. But they, if even if y'all brought these people, whoever the fuck these, they would bring this bullshit right? This, this, this. They don't want to do no work. But when it's say magic not working, it's the only work they want to do. Attacking y'all, third eye. Attacking the fuck out of y'all. And happy. This is the same energy from yesterday. Some of y'all cool being single. Gotta regroup or some shit. Whatever this weird ass shit is. The Empress. This came up before. Some of y'all may end up pregnant or it could have been somebody y'all was pregnant by. Realizations. People doing shit you never would have thought, honey. I'm trying to tell you. Some of the shit you be picking up be so acidic. Your eyes just start fucking burning. And then people are like, why you got on sunglasses in the nighttime? Because I dance with my dogs in the nighttime. That's why. Get away from me, please. Page of Cups. Yeah? A baby's daddy, maybe? Y'all got a son? Could have twins or a daughter or something. Some dealing with a child backstabbers backstabbers babies daddies you know could have a daughter and a son that aren't twins this is the father I'm that baby's daddy I gotta get another stick of money this is disturbing I have to get glasses hold up a minute Damn. For real, y'all. That's not even funny. Is that toxic? The ghetto. Funky, funky ghetto. The ghetto. Ooh, they 
much better, honey. Ace of Cups. Y'all got love coming in. Because y'all got love on y'all mind. Y'all self. Yep. Y'all loving yourself is going to bring in the victory of a real mate. Now, no more bullshit. No more jog turkeys, honey. Thanksgiving is over. Mm-hmm. Your self-love. And y'all really, like, on it. Somebody is a Ferris Bueller in this situation because y'all won whatever this little stupid shit is. And some of y'all wasn't even on no damn winning or losing nothing. Just figuring out people was on some shit that y'all was not on. And it's real toxic. Night of Wands. Same energy from yesterday. I mean, about to get into celebratory mode. Y'all need to. And get some rest. Y'all came over a hump. Something. I'm talking about a big ass obstacle. No getting around it. Gotta deal with it. But what the fuck is it? <laughs> For real. Hell no. <laughs> How did I get here? For real. <laughs> God, I will not if you get me out of this. <laughs> oh, some of y'all. That's that. Why did I ever let old buddy touch me? <laughs> Pray, God, you get me out of this. Especially if y'all had a pregnancy scare. Oh, boy. Or a CD scare. Oh boy. Up out of there. Up out of there. Mm -hmm. Okay, nobody can't nobody can't tell me what God won't do and can't do. Especially the God in you. What the fuck? Somebody about to be protective of y'all because this couldn't be, yeah, no, no, yeah, that's what it is. Somebody about to be protective of y'all because y'all are kind of back to back in any situation, but it's coming through as the King and Queen of Pentacles. You see how he's his back is to her back. Somebody had y'all in this. Maybe sending nightmares. Maybe even making y'all cry. You know, just unexpected tra traumatizing experiences. You know, never thought you would be. Yeah, you know, it was all a dream. What the fuck is this? A whirlwind of sorts of bullshit. Some stuff will break you down. If you kind of the type of person like me, where you don't have no problem getting on your face and getting on your forehead and crying out to your creator. However, you constantly talking to your creator. I mean, when you wake up, as you go on to sleep, all day, when you driving, especially if you spend a lot of time by yourself. Some stuff of do you just like this? However, you know, it don't even matter. You all remember that movie with um, Elizabeth Gilbert, based off Elizabeth Gilbert book, Eat, Pray, Love? My girl, pretty woman. I can't think of her name, and that is so terrible. But pretty woman, y'all. She was in that bathroom. Holling, holling. You know? That's when stuff start moving. <laughs> it's shifting and her life start changing. That's what y'all in that season. Y'all eat, pray, love season. In reverse. No more attacks on that crown and that third eye. 
they gonna get enough lighting this up fucking with y'all business it's my business candle going berserk y'all can can y'all see the fire kicking up it's way crazy fucking with y'all business Mm-hmm. So venomous people. When I be seeing fangs in the fire, I be like, oh Lord, who oh, is popping too? <laughs> Y'all gonna need protection. Oh, whew. Mm -hmm. They gonna be talking about them on the way. Y'all gonna get somebody real overprotective with y'all. Gonna be there. They don't have to, because people didn't teach y'all a little bit too much. The attacks is kind of crazy. And it could because some of y'all got the gift of sight. You know, people tend to attack you and you don't even know that that's what that... Why, you know? Think you're going to see something, sense something, read something, know something. I am just in here minding my business. What I talk about is what I talk about. What I see is what I saw. So that's what I talk about. However, if I ain't seeing you and I don't know you, I'm not reading shit. I don't know shit. People tend to think you do. If they heard, you know, it's a lot of gossip and slander. Real toxic situations. Page of Swords. Watching, lurking, talking, pertaining to your... This is a business. Hands are going crazy like that. Looking all nasty and stinky. Once it get done. Oh. All the shadows on it is ridiculous. They had no reason to do that. It was stabilized. Hold on to y'all coin. Because people undermine y'all business. They um, What the fuck, man? You know, that's what it is. Like, okay, you in the eat, pray, love season. You didn't get all this sucker shit out of your life. If not, it's on the way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Eight of wands fail. But it's like, why I got to walk with a limp? Because I can't really do what I want to do because people are hindering me. So y'all must have either gotten rid of some people that will spend their money. Now they hold their purse on some other shit. But you would rather... This is where you just surrender, you know? That star card. I don't know. This song for God that can I can only do deal with my essentials, my basic needs. I can only do what I'm you know, I can do. However, this is your reward. For always having to go through attacks, nine of swords. There go the protector right there, he ain't playing. I mean, I didn't chop and he's still here. People gonna start seeing people as assets like they should have been seeing. Oh, fuck you over here. What people, creature comforts are some shit. You know, something has to be made. And it stink. Oh, I'm telling you, y'all gonna be fanning out more and more stuff. Let it out, cry. Do whatever y'all got to do, honey. Just know you ain't got to deal with that shit no more. Bunch of... And y'all was like the light being amongst a lot of dark-ass shadow beings. That's why I'm not surprised that this candle kicked up like that. And left this shit. If y'all got cats, they be eating up them shadows, honey. They get to taking off and looking like they seen a ghost or some shit like that. That's what they be. They be working. That's why they be laying around tired all the time. Because they get rid of that bullshit. They real bougie. Cats is real bougie. Look how they stand all the time. 
like they're in etiquette class. They don't like that low vibe shit, you know? Yeah, y'all about to awaken the wolf in y'all. It's good, though, for real. You be needing that, especially when you a person that's used to, you know, making a good wage or whatever, having not really having too many financial constraints or issues. You can pretty much go get your hair done, okay, without having to plan it out and shit. But sometimes it's good to clear your slate and learn how to live. When you just really got to worry about your basic needs and give you time to rest, too. Because, honey, where it's a zero, the universe going to come filling it up in a minute. Especially if you fill the universe with good. Y'all tend to cause energy. People just attacking y'all. Y'all around a whole lot of shadow beings. Unbeknownst to you. Y'all finding out. And going to find out some more. It's some more stuff to be uncovered. Stinky, like... How uh, lake would smell when the ice melt in the summertime. <laughs> if you live in that kind of region, baby. Oof. Nine of swords. Yeah, they're going to be running. This person going to be running to y'all. They're going to understand how bad you've been hurt. If they don't know, they're going to know. If y'all, if this person is around now, they're about to get a clue. Because they've been listening to you or something. Something going to kick in. Where they stop acting like, you know. And you don't really, you know, you're not judging them or wanting them to be around like that. I'm not picking that up. It's just, if you talk to a divine masculine or you in a courting phase or whatever the case may be. You can be in a little relationship, lengthy in time. I don't know. But this person is finally understanding your trauma. Because you would say hands off yourself. But they are understanding where they have to protect you. Seven of Cups. This person don't know shit about witchcraft. Somebody don't know shit about witchcraft. People spiritually attacking you, energetically attacking you. You talk to them like that, they talk... They don't know. They only got one way to think, like linear thinking or earthly thinking or could even be religious. You know, for real. Or you say somebody's energetically attacking me or spiritually attacking me. They may send you, I don't know, some off kilter that ain't really got nothing to do with what you're talking about. But it do. They just don't see whatever they're into like that. What do you mean somebody's attacking you? They would see only like somebody shooting you with a gun, hitting you with a blunt object. Energy, unseen, they don't know. They don't know. They don't know. God is the protector of all. We are doing fine. Kind of situation. I'm like, man. See what I'm saying? <laughs> and they probably get their ass kicked too. That's why some of them just coming to the realization that y'all done been getting your ass kicked. Like, I've been talking to you, telling you this shit this whole time. You know, like, oh, my God. Kind of shit. The person going to be laughing. They laughing now. Y'all laughing, too. Laughing, y'all going to be. <laughs> like, no. And how do you explain it? That's how you know we coming into a new world, man. Like, the conversations have changed. But what I don't understand is in Christian doctrine, being spiritually attacked, I mean, the word psychic attack been around forever. You know, it's not literally somebody getting mugged all the time or <laughs> beat up. <laughs> yeah, but uh, people can literally, like, people talk about man-made diseases. I was thinking about this earlier, and I was like, okay, everything doesn't happen in a lab. That's why they put everything on science and the government. Like, no, man-made can also be somebody wanting you to break down from a particular disease and have a concentrated focus on it. And if you're the type of person that think God, you know, got you, although he said armor up, you may be subject to attacks. And if you don't know, oh, you get your ass whizzled.
till you come to the realization that motherfuckers don't like you. They've been doing this shit. How people talking about you can affect your life to a certain degree, depending on how much of it is being said. Especially if it's pertaining to your business. And business to me in this situation is either money based or your business, period. But ain't got no money to give you when you was out on the land. You know, some of y'all divine masculines, and y'all talk to them about this. If y'all in union or courting somebody, y'all talk to them about this. They get it now. They wasn't getting it in what the fuck you talking about. Yeah. Shit, you had to handle on your own. You know, like, how do you tell? And then when you find out, it's like, people is really attacking my crown and my other. And if they don't talk like that, they don't even know what a chakra is. <laughs> yeah, this shit, you sound kind of, it's a breach of communication. It's a breakdown of communication. Let's just say that. They may have gotten into some form of research or something. This person is really funny. When you told them, they may have laughed, which could have hurt some of y'all feelings. That they getting it. And it ain't shit funny now. Because somebody's sitting up there doing that, attacking you. People attack people. They're going to attack you based off your birth charts, the secrets. You know, be all up in your Akashic, Akashic records. You know? For real. Yeah, you up in the middle of the fucking night. Because some bitch... Act like you done done something to her or some shit. <clears throat> Take pleasure out of hurting you. They can't hurt you. They, they hurt. Like, what? Uh, somebody divine man's gonna have to go here or had to start going here. Once they heard what y'all was saying, then shit start materializing in their life with the shit they was dealing with with shadow beings. I'm telling you like a fucking movie. You know the song just went off when I turned this song. We'll see. This look outside. It's a movie. <laughs> For real. <laughs> you all either got rid of them or you all getting free from them. Something happening. You all about to take the risk and jump. Because y'all, somebody got out of a third party. Somebody was doing too much. Somebody had way more than a third party. But I mean, it ain't like they got, you know. A polyamorous card beyond three people. <laughs> it's probably out here for real in the tarot world. <laughs> Heck no. So, y'all rule by Pluto. They like to say Mars too, but I'll go with Pluto. Let's just. Yeah, y'all down with some devils. It's in Capricorn. Mm hmm. Straight up shadow beings, honey. Secrets. That's what Pluto rules. Eighth house. So. Mm hmm. Sex, hidden passions, regret, secrets, mysteries being revealed for real. Yen energy. Yeah, women. Or some other shit. Could be pertaining to an extra hand, y'all baby daddy. This shit coming up. Had to make me go get sunglasses. Love set for sun in the moon. I'm gonna chase you off this earth. Love set for love set for sun in the moon. Oh, it's popular. Message from the cosmos. Ancestors be hollering in this deck. It's like ancestors that speak the same language depending on the the um, general reading. The people that are attracted to this general reading with this deck, this, this is how I perceive it. And I only used it a couple times. It's like the same generation of ancestors. You know, they say the same thing. Like they may have all said jive turkey motherfucker because they was all born during that time. Damn, they just jump in and say whatever needs to be said to you out there. Generations of them.
Ethereal. Anything goes. Yeah. Look, I don't even care for, with these cosmic decks. piece of money on there you know it's all about in in your business pertaining to money look we caught that motherfucker look how dark that they just melted the camp they gotta clean it they all over your money five pieces of money hmm. five of ones can't look at it is that a six man somebody six or six one high man Got the eight of wands. It's another piece of money. Seven. There goes eight right there. Eight. Let me all go find them. Eight motherfuckers. It ain't shit. Pertaining to money. Unbeknownst to you. How black that shit is. I gotta clean it. Hmm. <sighs> Did I? I ain't not going to use. Is y'all ready for this new year to be gone? I am so fine. Let your feelings out. All of them. Even the ones that scare you. That's that nine of uh, swords. Yeah, let it out. Like I said, let that shit out. Somebody's letting y'all know. Clear your mental and physical clutter. You will feel so much better. Somebody move on. Live your life with both feet in. Commit fully to being here. Y'all can. That's what's going to bring in y'all. Some of y'all divine masculine, like I said, was you loving yourself. Understanding the Jews where the true value lies and that stuff. You know, once I was a child, I thought as a child kind of shit. Do your thoughts need a reboot? Focus on the good in your life. Mm-hmm. Hard ass reset. Everybody going through it. I'm telling you, clearing out the clutter, which sometimes are people. It's just standing around, loitering in your life. Where you got to be told by your ancestors to live your life with both feet in. <laughs> now, some of y'all didn't ever unpack when you moved. You kept everything in a bin. Because that's the people y'all was dealing with. In and out motherfuckers. You couldn't have both feet in. Oof. Your life is so special. Treat it with love and care. Y'all, oh y'all learning. Y'all learning, honey. Y'all learning. For show for show. Somebody feel like they didn't treat theirs with love and care. It's somebody's ancestor. May have drank a little bit too much. Something they did where they feel like they could have did it better. So they want you to treat your life with more love and care than they did their own. Give yourself some credit for doing a good job at this whole living thing. Yeah. Y'all are, you, you, me are watching this. Y'all blame yourself. And y'all about to stop doing that if you're not already practicing to stop doing that. It's just a bad habit y'all picked up because of the people that y'all were dealing with. They were half-ass people. They didn't bring their whole ass. Always hiding shit. You showing your hand, they ain't showing theirs. Y'all rule the eighth house of secrets. So those are the type of people that keep your secrets and you thinking that these are the type of people that you can lend your secrets to. Eighth house is a very intimate house. You know what I'm saying? I'm dealing with death certificates, births, rebirths, the dark side, the light side, the hidden things. 
the mysteries. What would life be without the mysteries? If you knew everything, come on, how boring. Give yourself some credit for doing a good job at this whole living thing. Y'all be thinking y'all are to have ass because y'all surrounded around them. No, 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 no. Everybody getting a hard ass reset, I swear. Like, where is everybody at? Oh, whole bunch of, you know, like, uh, shout out to Jay-Z for his Earth Strong today's birthday. Like his mother saying that song, Living in the Shadows. Smile. <laughs> no fun for you, no fun for me. <laughs> Hell no, we all living in the shadows and didn't even know it, man. That is terrible. What has your inner voice been asking of you? Listen and act. Did y'all thoughts need a reboot? Did y'all need to just let it go? You know, let it go. Because you're sick of rehashing. Exactly. It's giving your power away. It really is. Stop giving away your power right now. Some of y'all may talk about it to the new people y'all meet. It means clear your mental and physical clutter. They don't know that shit and they don't want, they want to just, you a vibe. You know, but sometimes when you've been in some shit for so long, you take on that air. And then you tell the people that you don't even know about. And true enough, when you get to that point of knowing them, then more than likely you end up trading war stories. Let's just be real with it. However, you're just meeting some people. The guy may be sitting in your way, but you're carrying the old with you because you just, it's giving away your power. It really is. It's not really letting people know who you are. You kind of just, you know, your trauma, basically. Yeah, then you inner critique yourself. Oh, y'all got to be more kind to yourself, please. Yeah, let's keep saying, your, give your inner critic a vacation day. Stop ruminating over what you did. The same shit. Then you'll start looking outside of yourself for answers. That's when you end up sleeping with people that you didn't want to. In retrospect, why the fuck kind of shit? Mm-hmm. Stop looking outside yourself for answers. Exactly. Check in with your body. That's what you didn't want to even do it. But just, you know, trying to get free from the internal wars. Temporary pleasure. You have the power to create the life you love. Remember that. Creating the life you love, not the life you loathe, not the life you don't like, not the life that you settle for because you were in the shadows, honey. <laughs> I hear that song by Auntie Diana. I'm coming up. I want the world to know. Got to let it show. Yeah, give yourself some credit for being able to double dutch all this fucking time with these fucking half ass people. You bring your whole ass. When you bring your whole ass, baby, feeders be feeding, okay? Taking full advantage of your ass, okay? For real. You be the only one giving a fuck. Before you know that you the only one bringing something to the cookout. Cooked everything. Shit, y'all should have just came to my house. Got this shit. All right, y'all. If you're feeling the vibe, please like, share, and subscribe. <laughs> Love and light. Like.